before you with contrite heart. Humbly I surrender all that I am. I want to learn from you. Please draw me close to you. Help me share your love and grace in all I do. Lord, I come before you with contrite heart. Humbly I surrender all that I am. I want to learn from you. Please draw me close to you. Help me share your love and grace in all I do. Shine a light to a darkened world And always live your truth in every way May your love for me be seen by everyone And lead others to trust and love you more You have joined us so that you can experience the goodness of Jesus, you can experience His joy, 
you can experience his love and even as we fellowship with God we can have a wonderful time with him be rejuvenated and transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit and so we welcome you once again to Youth Life Unplugged and may you have a wonderful experience as we embrace God's presence and as we bask in the ambience of his glory. But this evening we extend greetings to so many persons that have joined us and we ask you even as you have signed on that you share the page, that you like the page, you call somebody, let them know that Youth Life Unplugged is on. We have a very interesting topic that we are going to share with you and we are asking that you also communicate with us, send us a response, send us your thoughts, send us your ideas and let us have a wonderful time with Jesus Christ. Now, this evening we have so many persons, as was mentioned before, that have joined us and are now praising God with us in a marked and special way and we want to recognize a few of them and after we do that we would go into a session of praise and worship to Jesus Christ. All right, so this afternoon or this evening we have Thomas Baptiste saying happy Sabbath to all. We say happy Sabbath to you also. We have Hamlet, Shima Hamlet, I know him. Happy Sabbath to you. And also don't forget, as you send your greetings, we are saying to you, you can send in your songs as we go into the praise and worship session. We see anybody else that we can send Sabbath greetings to? Yes, I see my good friend from Subis, um, Salian Mara. Salian, welcome, happy Sabbath. We see your request and we're going to take it. All right, Francesca. Janelle, Roslyn, we have quite a number of them, one of our famous Vicky Kato, Dario, and so we're happy to have everybody here tonight, Chomen Bihari, Spice Lady Brave Boy, mm. Kimlin Dakota. we're very happy to have all of you here tonight, is there anybody else extra? Um, well, I see Krista Bain, um, um, Adria, Adria Isaac, uh, well, Dolly Shell. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I signed in. Yes, evening, God, happy Sabbath. Esther, happy Sabbath to you. And we see um, Kimberly join us. Happy Sabbath, welcome, Kimberly. And our Nova Null, happy Sabbath to you. Uh, my good friend, Neil Liverpool. Neil Liverpool from Guyana. He's mm -hmm. saying happy Sabbath, and we say happy Sabbath to you. Also, all right, he's Lan Henry, and we have Kimran Korean, a good friend of myself, and even Pastor Gordon. He's the one that is washed first on the topic of social media. So, if he says soon, they would have a lovely time. So, at this time, what we are going to do, we are going to say a word of prayer and we are going to sing to the name, honor, and glory of our Lord and Savior and Jesus Christ. Shall we bow our heads for prayer? Our gracious, eternal, heavenly Father, we thank you so kindly for this moment of praise that we can give unto you. We ask even as we have come that you would bless even that which we give this evening. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right. Well, Sister Sarana, <laughs> I believe that you can lead out, you can share with those from... All right, so we're going to move into our praise and worship, and I'm asking my team to help me out with the singing. And we have our first song from Hamlet. She wants us to sing 400, 604, sorry, We Know Not the Owl. He will come, let us watch and be ready. And we'll be singing the first and the last verse. Yeah. 
next song from Sally. She wants us to sing 373, Seeking the Lost.
so far, uh, most of the songs that we have done, if mm -hmm. not all, speaks to the second coming yes. of Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. So these are persons mm -hmm. are looking forward to seeing Jesus, meeting Jesus. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to tell you, I'm also excited right. because I want to meet that individual, that person yes. that did so much for me. And one day, he would also ensure that I make it into the New Jerusalem. Amen. 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 All right, our next song from Vicky Cato, and she wants us to sing number 10. Come, Christian, join to sing. Alleluia. Amen. <laughs> Oh, 
can say that leaning on the arms of Jesus mm -hmm. is one of the best things or the best thing yes. that we can do and what do we have to dread or to fear. Yeah. And of course, there are so many things in this life that can cause us to fear mm -hmm. and to dread and cause us to mourn and to weep. But when we place our lives in the hands of Jesus, mm -hmm. he secures us, he takes care of us, yes. and he gives us a peace that even those around us may not be able to understand. So we can continue to embrace Jesus Christ yes. because he, he's marvelous, he's wonderful, he's excellent, and words cannot express how Amen. great our God is. Amen. Pastor, why don't you call the next song? All right. Well, I could do that. <laughs> it did. So. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have Maturin saying him 88. All right, so we'll sing that one. I sing the mighty power of God.
moment yes, in indeed. our praise and worship session. We yeah. thank our viewing audience and also our listening audience mm -hmm. for sending in the songs and yes. also for the Sabbath greetings and those who were singing with us, lifting up the name of Jesus. And as human beings, <coughs> God has placed us here, we can say, to praise mm -hmm. his name, That's to right. lift him up and to magnify him. And I can even add mm -hmm. that if we lift up the name of Jesus, yes. then he is going to draw these persons unto himself. So sure. there is a magnetic nature mm -hmm. <laughs> that exists okay. when we lift up the name of Jesus. He's so loving, that yes. personality different mm -hmm. from all of us. Yes. And persons just seem to be gravitating towards Jesus. Mm -hmm. So this evening we continue to give God thanks and praise for those who have joined us. We have right now, we have Jeremiah yes. saying good night all and happy Sabbath. We also have Joseph saying happy Sabbath all. And we have a very interesting person there that mm -hmm. is Shani. Shani, yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Shani, Shani saying happy Sabbath. And we have Patty Lalit saying good night and happy Sabbath to one and all, far and near. So I don't know, probably we have persons tuning in from China. Yes, all over. Yeah. All over. And maybe from Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> and possibly from yeah. Indonesia. Mm -hmm. So all those far and near, yes. we are saying happy Sabbath to That's you. Right. Also, we have Alric Henry. Uh, that name seems to be familiar. I wonder if he's associated with anybody on the panel. But don't tell us yet. Don't tell us yet. You will tell us a little bit later on. Yeah. All right. So we have... That is a... Sheridan. All right. What's the name there? It's Sheridan. Sheridan Andrew. All right. Yes. And we have... Someone from Tobago. Okay. Okay. Yes. And Demari. Demari. And we also have Coretta... John saying happy Sabbath family. Yes. So they're saying happy Sabbath family. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it seems as though we're part of the family, too. Yes. 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 And yes. Don't you all know that we're part of the family of God? Yes. Yes. Right. So even when persons do not have a family of their own because we are part of God's yes. family, yes. God's then family. we have yes. ownership. Somebody owns us. We know who we are. We know whose we are. Yes. And that makes us really, really special. Yes. And how can we forget? All right. We have root. The Koto, Philip, there, and all right. And we also have Bridgman. Bridgman, Bridgman, and okay. Deanne Charles, they're okay. just joining. Welcome. Mm -hmm. And Ruby Murray saying happy Sabbath from Snell Hall. <coughs> all right, happy Sabbath, all. And don't forget, don't forget, make sure you share the page, make sure you like the page, and make sure you call somebody. Because it is your moment to spread the love of Jesus. So take your moment, make it a joyous occasion, and spread the love of Jesus with somebody tonight. We don't know what persons are going through. We don't know what turmoils and headaches, what pains they might be experiencing. So let them tune in. Let them share their comments so that we can all have a wonderful time with Jesus Christ. Now, this evening we want to share with our viewing audience because we have some activities that are on right now and we also have activities that are to come. Yes. They are forthcoming. Mm -hmm. And so we want to tell them about what is taking place now. We want us to excite the audience yes. okay. about what is taking place now mm -hmm. so that whatever their plans might have been, mm -hmm. Whatever they would have planned but, for tomorrow, yeah. please God. Yes, they have to. We would be able to convince mm -hmm. them. To yes. unplan and replan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to unplan and replan. Yeah. Like so that. to put that contingency plan yes. okay. in place. All right, so tomorrow, please God, mm -hmm. I'm hearing that Kimi Palmer. Yes, Kimi Palmer crusade. All right, so he has a crusade going on. And it is finishing tomorrow, please God, based on the information. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so those persons that can join. Yes we are saying is the last experience that you are going to have with them and i tell you something wherever the name of jesus is lifted up in truth 
then that would always be yes. the best place to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Terry Charles Terry. has a crusade. That's oh, all right. Yes. Terry Charles. A lot of person yeah. may know Terry, Terry Charles yeah. yes. because he is associated with the Red Cross and he does yes. training in that area. So that if you're having a little heart problem, you don't worry, you can still go to the crusade yes. mm-hmm. because yeah. the evangelist can resuscitate you. Yeah, exactly. So all will be well. So if you're sick, you're on crutches, whatever challenge you may have, you can still go. The evangelist is more than capable, more than able yeah, right. to help you with your challenge. And he's also lifting up the yeah. word of God. That is yeah. a powerful, magnificent yeah. opportunity that you would have. And double and resuscitation and a spiritual and Okay, spiritual okay. Way. So it's not just a physical. No, both spiritual and physical. All right. And, you know, a full package. Okay, so it's two dimensional. <laughs> That's All right. right. That's nice. And we also have a pastor from the union mm-hmm. that would be coming in to do a crusade with Pastor Enoch Isaac and he mm-hmm. is the executive secretary of the Caribbean Union and so he's coming in we will tell you more about that as time progresses so we want you to tune in we want you to listen and we'll have a wonderful time with Jesus anything mm-hmm. taking place in your district uh, not at the moment uh, no. well maybe women's ministry day I okay. hope not every church is probably having it on Sabbath but um, I think that's a scheduled Sabbath for it so feel free also to drop by at Richmond. We're having a full day, both morning and afternoon session for um, women, right? Women's Ministry Day. All right. Are we have anything taking place in paradise? And nothing taking place in paradise. Are you sure nothing is taking place in paradise? <laughs> Something is always taking place in paradise. <laughs> Not tomorrow. All right. We had a health. A hell day last mm-hmm. Saturday. Okay. Yeah, so we don't have anything tomorrow. Okay, so that was last Saturday. That was last Saturday, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Regular service. All right. Regular, Regular yes. service taking place at yeah. at Mount Han. Yeah. yeah. At Mount Han. And of course, well, for my district, uh, the women would also be okay. taking mm-hmm. up the mantle for the morning period onto the divine service. So if you <coughs> desire, you can mm-hmm. also join us. You wouldn't be able to join us online necessarily, <laughs> so you would have to make your presence felt in the congregation. So you have to make it personal. Mm-hmm. You got to be there, and you would be able to experience what I would experience as we continue to love and appreciate our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now, I told you before that we have a very interesting topic that we want to look at. And, of course, it is ringing now in my ear, and it sounds like off the grid. You hearing it? Mm-hmm. I am. All right. But before we go there, I'm just wetting your taste buds. <laughs> before we go there, I want to let you know also that we have Camporee. It would be coming up, but... I do not want to tell you everything. We are going to pause for that cause. We are going to go to the men at the technical side and they are going to show us a video as to what is going to take place. So let us tune in and let us see what they have for us. It's only one month and a few days away. National Pathfinder Campery 2019. You can't afford to miss this life-changing weekend. Reunite with friends. Connect with God. Shop on your skills. Relax and have fun. Impact the community. April 18th to the 22nd, 2019. Under the theme, selfie, hashtag, like and share Jesus. Register now. Prepare for it. Plan for it. Experience it. National Campery 2019. It's only one month and a few days away. National Pathfinder Campery 2019. You can't afford to miss this life-changing weekend. Reunite with friends. Connect with God. Shop on your skills. Relax and have fun. Impact the community. 
April 18th to the 22nd, 2019. Under the theme, selfie, hashtag, like and share Jesus. Register now. Pray for it. Plan for it. Experience it. National Campery 2019. Alright, we welcome you back once again to Youth Life Unplug. This evening we are going to have a wonderful time. We have some lovely persons and we can also say handsome gentlemen <laughs> on the set this evening. And of course we are going to say who we are and we are going to say something sweet about ourselves. I know that Mrs. Henry <laughs> is just waiting to tell us something. I told her don't tell us yet. Oh really? But you can tell us now. You can tell us now. Well, I suppose we start with me. My name is Dolisha Henry. Um, I go to the Richmond Seventh-day Adventist Church. And something sweet about me, I'm a very lovely person. I'm easy to talk to. Don't bother with past and the extra stuff. <laughs> uh, I see. Uh, mm -hmm. well, the roses among the thorns always go. <laughs> okay, good night everyone. I'm Sarana Philip and I'm from the Paradise SDA Church. Um, something sweet about myself. Well, I have a very lovely voice. Oh, yes, right. she does. All right. All right. Okay, and good night to everyone. My name is Paul Millet and I attend the Mount Horn Seventh-day Adventist Church. I have no idea what something sweet pastor wants me to say. <laughs> Maybe I could say I play music and I play it sweetly. Yes. All right, yeah, wonderful. wonderful. I was yeah. almost going to ask you, okay. when you are not on the computer, okay. what you engage yourself yeah. in. And music. of course, I know Brother Paul Millet for, or I have known him, for all a your very life. long time, all, your life. all my <laughs> life, and uh, even when we were in the Pathfinders Club at Paradise, he was there, and he's known for the bass, playing that bass on the guitar, right. and uh, I believe he is very good at it. If you ask him, he will tell you he's an okay player, <laughs> just being modest, but when you hear him, he is really able to make some noise on those strings. And music, that. not noise. Music. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to get at. I was just trying to get it out oh, of you. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, myself, I am Pastor Bernard Lyons and still pastor in the Northeastern District. And I love to interact with persons. That is what I love to do. So when nobody's around, it is almost like Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. This evening, we turn to the screen once again to see who we have, and then we would look at our topic. We would look at the scenario that we are going to base our discussion on for the evening, and then uh, we will continue to engage our viewing audience. This evening, we have with us saying good night, Nigel from Dalisha Lambert Henry. We also have Alin Philbot saying happy Sabbath brethren and we have Alin Philbot saying happy Sabbath Pastor Lyons and we have Zandra Sylvester Fraser who has joined us we are saying don't forget to like the page share the page tell somebody call them up the youth life unplug is on we have a lovely <coughs> group of persons and mind you don't just look at the faces god he has blessed them with brain cells that are beyond oh even goodness. mine so tune in and we'll hear what they have to offer this evening we also have root again from samaritan st max and the same women's day would be there tomorrow please god so it seems as though tomorrow please god is a time to pray for our ladies mm -hmm. and of course we all need prayer yeah. we all need prayer but an emphasis would be going out to the ladies of our nation and also the ladies of our church and our different
congregations. Now, no, Pastor, just before you go on, if you ahead. would permit me, <clears throat> um, I saw my cousin from New York, Nigel. I was just responding to him. Happy that you could join us. And my aunt, Joan, from Grand Anne's. Um, I'm so happy to see you. Um, I don't, I can't. Mm -hmm. I don't know who that is. Okay. Do you know who that person is? Who Saying it? hi to us. Oh, Nordina. I think I know. Oh, Nordina. Nordina. Yeah, Nordina. Yeah, that's Nordina. Yes. Oh, oh yes. okay. Hi. Hi, Nordina. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. All right. Hello, 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 hello. 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 Yes. All right, Priscilla George saying happy Sabbath to everyone. Priscilla, I be love Priscilla George. I wonder where Priscilla George is from. So Priscilla George, Priscilla. tell us where you're from. Tell us where you're from. All right, so this evening we have Off the Grid. Off that is what we are going to look at. Mm -hmm. But even before I go there, last night I was looking at the television mm -hmm. during the news section, and even this morning when I looked on one of our popular news network or news station, mm -hmm. I saw a very familiar face. Okay. And uh, that person was Pastor Jamie Gordon. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was on that station last night, even it was being broadcasted this morning, and he was speaking about youth life. He was encouraging persons to oh. come and to see what we have to offer. He was showing persons, showcasing mm -hmm. youth life. He was boasting mm -hmm. for us. He was advertising. Yeah. Yeah. And... Uh, I really appreciated that. It was a tremendous effort yes. that he would have given mm -hmm. so that this program mm -hmm. could have been spread even further than we are accustomed to having it. And so we, we thank God for Pastor Gordon, the way in which God used him last night, and even the foundation in which he is able to set, even as he continues for himself, working within the youth department, all right? Part of the directorship team, he is there, and we thank God that he is able to continue to move God's work and encourage other persons, let young people know there are issues that we are talking about, and we can't hide from that. A lot of us have issues that we are dealing with, that we want to have resolved but some persons don't even know how yeah. but as we tune in as persons listen we are not just giving information from textbook yeah, really. but we are also giving information experience. from experience yeah. so it's personal right. it's not just what we would have read or heard and also we are giving persons spiritual encouragement mm -hmm. so we are still bringing the element of Jesus because yeah. Yeah. Jesus really makes a difference yes. in any situation, mm -hmm. That's right. any kind of trouble we can find ourselves in, Jesus can make the difference. Amen. So it was a wonderful, wonderful opportunity that he received, and we thank God for it. Off the grid. Amen. So listen to this. Imagine, imagine that you are there. You are just there. There is no internet. There is no Facebook. There is no Instagram. There is no WhatsApp. There is no Twitter. There is no LinkedIn. What else? There is nobody. There is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just say that because yeah, without this, I mean, persons might yes. believe can someone exist in, a, in, in an environment like, like this yeah. in this 21st century? Mm -hmm. So the question is the question is mm -hmm. you are faced with that situation. Mm -hmm. How would you spend your day? How would you be feeling? But listen, don't answer me just yet. <coughs> before we take your answers, before we talk about it, let us have a special song. So let us pause once again and we're going to take a special song. And after the special song, we would talk about how we would feel or what we would do if none of those, how would we call them? Social media platforms. platforms. Social media yes. platform. yes. Yes. I like that. Yes. It's not there. Or they're not there. A platform is a good term. You're standing on it. If it's removed, what do you do? Yes. Oh, yes. you're yes. hanging in yes. space. Nice. Mm -hmm. let's, see what, let's see what happens. That's why they brought you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's see what happens. All right, so let's sing the special song. that would be sharing with us the topic that we are looking at off the grid. It is nothing that our young people <laughs> are, should we say, unfamiliar with. Mm -hmm. It is familiar territory yes. for our young people and so it's a topic that they would love and appreciate. I know that they are just waiting to share with us and yes. so we have a scenario that we have put forth mm -hmm. and we are asking the question, if these platforms mm -hmm. are not there, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, <laughs> no internet, Nothing. then what will you do? How will you spend your day? How will you be feeling? And so let's turn to the screen, our viewing audience, and let us see what the response they have <coughs> to share with us, and let us see how we can benefit from what you have to see. So you can 
answer the question now. <laughs> what would you do if that scenario seem to exist in your sphere, in your area, at some moment, at some point in your life, knowing that you love and you appreciate all those social media platforms and they're just not there anymore. What would you do? And of course, don't forget, like the page, share the page, tell somebody else we're talking about our social media platforms mm -hmm. tell somebody and make sure that they share the comments with us so that we can all grow in the knowledge of our lord and savior jesus christ mm -hmm. and so we are hearing al alrich saying beautiful peter saying that was wonderful all right hosford <laughs> love you all happy sabbath okay and nova null what did we do growing up? It says, internet was not as popular then as now, and we, we all live. Yes, right. All right, Kimran Korean. Kimran, I want you to stick around because I know you have much to share with us. That's your area of expertise, so stick <laughs> around. But we also have, we also have something yes. waiting for you. All right, Kimran is saying, I grew up without social media, so it will just be my childhood all over again. All right, and we have Kimran saying all over again. <laughs> and we have Caboose saying, oh, good job. So the question is, what would you do? No internet, no social media. What will you do? So let me ask, what will we do? No social media, no internet. You know, the thing about it, we, we could plan for a situation when we talk about it now, <laughs> knowing that it may not happen. Mm -hmm. So we may say, well, I could live without it, I could do without it, or maybe for a day or so. But you may just look at somebody who just comes to visit you, and as soon as they reach, the first thing they want was the password for the Wi-Fi. Yes, okay. yes. And the same person tells you, I could do without it. Mm -hmm. But for those of you who are old enough, look what happened with Ivan when we didn't have electricity for quite a while. Mm -hmm. Maybe the first, I mean, we had other things to take our mind off it. Mm -hmm. Even us older ones, we may say, well, when we were growing up, we didn't have those kinds of addiction. Mm -hmm. But even before I was coming here tonight, I saw a guy putting up a kite, night time. I'm telling you, pitch black. <laughs> so just as in our time, kite and marble, any little opportunity we get, mm -hmm. those are the things that we did. Today now, the young ones don't know what kite, they don't know what marbles. Mm -hmm. They are the ones to be blamed. Mm -hmm. We are the ones to be blamed because we have not taught them mm -hmm. how to do those things. So in all era, it's the same thing. But even now, I believe the addiction is a, a, a little bit worse. Okay. Yeah. Because back then, we can play a game and you know, it's time we can shift from one to the other. We had 10, 15 games playing and we can play all of them. Okay. But today on the social media, everything is on a single device. Okay. So when your mother tells you, you can't fly kite outside, you come inside the house and you're playing marble in a little corner. But think about it, if all your entertainment is on one device that requires internet connection, mm -hmm. when that goes, you have nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I wonder if our ladies over there, <laughs> they are sharing the same sentiments. Because I know that they love WhatsApp. Yeah. And of course, I use it myself oh, yes. to yeah, connect and day. to share information with persons mm -hmm. to ensure that I keep in contact okay, with them and so how would you respond? Well I remember I was home at a time and mm -hmm. um, the internet there were no internet well, the current the electricity went and I was doing something on my phone and the only thing I could do was just sleep but <laughs> that's the thing I would do if I, you don't have any internet no whatsapp nothing I would just sleep or probably go out read a book or something you know so for you, mm -hmm. it is almost like saying, it's not well. <laughs> All is not well when the internet Obviously is gone. Obviously, you get frustrated because you know you're doing something on the internet and then you just it's just gone, uh, gone yes. just like that. You know, obviously you get frustrated and then okay, why you wondering and then you wonder what you will do and. That's the easiest thing I could do: just sleep, okay. just to get my so, mind off it. You know? So here's what I'm going to ask you then. Okay. You're at home, you have mm -hmm. internet, but mm -hmm. you just decide, you know, I'm just going to take a rest. I'm just going to relax for the next three hours and 
I turn my phone off, I put that there, mm-hmm. and you're okay mm-hmm. for three hours, yes, four hours, okay. because you tell yourself internet, internet is, there, is there, but okay. I'm staying off. Mm-hmm. As opposed to the power goes mm-hmm. and you have no internet for half hour. Mm-hmm. The half hour without with knowing there is no internet is like tottering you even yes, more yes, than you making is, a conscious it decision. Is, yes. It's there and I don't want it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So as we get into the program, yes. I mean, the question is, why is it like that? When it is not there and I have no control, control. in determining here, mm-hmm. what is the effect as okay. opposed to me making a decision? It's there, but I don't want it. All right. All right. In talks, you say there was a weekend Wi-Fi was down and I actually pick up a book <laughs> and read from front, front to back, back in, in a few hours. hours. So wow. persons would cope differently. Yes. Mm-hmm. So in his situation mm-hmm. that experience brought him back mm-hmm. to the book okay, so he, here's a comment the house without wi-fi is not, not a home. home okay <laughs> all right so that was an interesting one a house without wi-fi is not, not a home home eh? house and home eh? so yeah. let's look, look, look at it yeah. Yeah. okay okay huh? <laughs> so it's not a house without Wi-Fi, it's not a house, oh, it's not a not home. home. Okay. So we need internet, we mm-hmm. need connectivity mm-hmm. to make a house, house a home. home. Okay. Oh. Far reaching though. Okay, alright. So it is profound, it goes deeper than mm-hmm. what appears there yeah. when you look at the, the nitty gritties of it. Alright, we're hearing from Victor, says read, play games, read a book and be more physical. Mm-hmm. And knowledge back again. Or it says we live to have control right. as humans. It's different if we make a what conscious choice not to do something versus being forced. forced. Mm-hmm. And Korean was saying also without social media, I will need a new okay. career. So it seems as though mm-hmm. his yes, career is built mm-hmm. around mm-hmm. social media. Yes. So if that does not exist, then he would need a new career. What, what would you do? If there was no social media existing for that day, play with my family. So we are seeing some interesting comments Mm -hmm. coming out. Maybe not as we would have expected. We probably thought persons would have been saying I might have died or frustrated. I would get frustrated or I would just give up everything and get crazy. But persons seem to be saying differently. And persons are saying back to basic, I too grew up without it. So it appears as though persons know how to reconnect to the time when it did not exist, as you were saying, Mm -hmm. uh, Brother Millet. Maybe there's a lovely person there. I know of a friend of mine. um, She couldn't put her phone down for a second. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm really telling you not a second. Mm Every living moment, I think, to, I think once they actually took her phone and hide it, okay. just to give her a little, you know. And she was like totally like depressed. Mm-hmm. You know, where is my phone? Mm-hmm. I need it. I. So there are people. While probably they're giving an honest answer, you mm-hmm. know, they will be able to go back to what was. But if we ask, for instance, someone, a younger person, yeah, if you ask me, I could say. I would, it would just be like my childhood because mm-hmm. I grew yeah. up playing. Mm-hmm. What about those who did not grow up the, yeah. playing mm-hmm. and they grew up swiping? Okay. What's going to happen mm-hmm. to them? Mm-hmm. So probably these are the people we need to get some feedback from. All right. Exactly. So you're calling, you're calling on our young the people. Our young people. Ones, yes. Within this generation who right. grew up in the, yeah. the swiping yes. era. Right. Yeah, because the thing about it, now you have, let's suppose we have no power. Mm-hmm. Korean is saying, oh, he go back to read, or somebody say they go back to read. How many persons in these modern days mm-hmm. can go back to read a book? Mm-hmm. Where is the book? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If all our books are on oh, our digital on devices yes. yeah. and we don't have it, where is it? Yep. So let's suppose we have no internet, so we can't do any streaming, and we want to watch a movie. How many persons have a video? Video. <laughs> Most persons now don't even know what a video cassette looks no, like. No. So how can we go back? You know. So persons are saying. In the absence of the social media, we can do this. The older ones who would save their stuff mm-hmm. and we start calling them holders to get them out of holding or stowing there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When the technology fails or the technology is not present, we may want to go back. Mm-hmm. But if we don't have those things here, mm-hmm. and that's the danger of it. I mean, okay. many people these days have electronic Bibles. Mm-hmm. In the event something happens with electronic medium, 
They don't have a physical Bible. So we must, yes, we move ahead with technology, but we must not discard fully what we had before. Okay. Because sooner or later, sometime it may happen that we have need to go back to it. Mm -hmm. Where are your marbles? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> That's a good question. All right, Hamlet. Hamlet is saying we will have to love without it. One, so let's let's practice now. Practice this. No. Oh, yes, okay. Practice All right. So you understand it. Okay. All right. Adriel Isaacs is saying to be honest. When I was not on social media, I spent a lot of time outside. Mm -hmm. I think it would encourage more outside physical activities. Reading would also be more widespread. And of mm -hmm. course, you really wonder if reading is truly a priority. And of course, persons read, as you mentioned, from the device. Because you download your books, you yeah. buy your mm -hmm. books maybe off Amazon or mm -hmm. one of those sites mm -hmm. and you have it there and you can read during the or night it, or it can read, read for you or you it can yes. read for you we have yes. gotten to that mm -hmm. point and you ask the question where are the books now mm -hmm. if you go to the homes of some persons you may not find it, a bookshelf mm -hmm. and so it is a cause for concern it is and of course <laughs> persons are still alluding to yes. going back to the books and also to those activities there. But even as Christians, huh, we have to keep up with the technology. We have to move ahead. We okay. have to live with it. Mm -hmm. Because the technology is good. We can use it to spread the gospel. That's why we're using this platform yeah. here tonight anyways. Yes. We're using that. But still, we have to be very mindful of not discarding our printed material. Okay. Because the electronic medium can be updated easily. Mm -hmm. So now you're reading something here and you connect to the internet. One update and all the words change and you realize I was reading that yesterday, but today is something different. Okay. But when it is printed, and you take your paper, 10 years from now, this is this. Okay. Okay. So as Christians, we really have to understand, we move with the technology, but we also need to have our printed words, our, our textbooks and all those things. We definitely need to keep some of those. All right. And don't forget, we are asking, what would you do if there was no internet, no social media, no WhatsApp, what is going to happen? Now, I can also tell you that based on statistics portal, they are saying that 3.2 billion persons, and we're looking at about a quarter of the world's population, they're saying in about 2021, these persons would be engaged on the internet. So they are looking, we are not looking at decreasing the amount of persons that will be joining those who are, are already there yeah. but we are looking at a vast increase mm -hmm. so it means that that medium or those mediums they are captivating the attention they seem to be lowering persons mm -hmm. drawing them yeah. pulling them and you, you wonder why what, what is so interesting about social media what is so important about social media that seem to be drawing our young persons and could you imagine young persons, young people, they're so hard to please sometimes, yeah. Yeah. so hard to keep the attention span. Even in the classroom, yes. yeah. it's hard to teach them for a certain period of time. And of course, they tell us that's because of the way in which we look at television program, but that's another program by itself. Yeah. Okay. But how, how is it that the media is able to draw them, those, those social media platforms? How is it? What is so interesting? What is so important about those platforms? Well, we, we talk about it being attractive and colorful and okay. so to the younger okay. children. Mm -hmm. But if we say that, then I'm thinking to myself, you know, for instance, um, a young person, say a child, mm -hmm. um, has a device and the parent just couldn't understand well, what's so um wonderful about whatsapp that you have to be on whatsapp all the time and then probably the parent but they comes around and they get a smartphone right. <laughs> and they get on whatsapp Table turn. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> can imagine that the parents now spend just as yes, much so time okay. on their devices mm -hmm. as the children do okay and we're wondering well if it's to attract the young people you know it's all flashy and colorful mm -hmm. and you're staying connected and they may not, I suppose, use it for the same reason, mm -hmm. reasons as the younger persons, but we see that there is still that attraction 
that even both young and old, they're attracted, they're addicted rather to um, these social media platforms. I know that we get real time update, you can video chat, video you chat, can yes. you can do voice mm -hmm. calling. So it gives very options in which you can connect mm -hmm. with persons. And I wonder if it's a connecting part mm -hmm. or is it that we we glad to know what everybody else seems mm -hmm. to be doing? Because I've heard that some persons do nothing mm -hmm. without putting it on Facebook mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. So if they are waking up now, they will tell you, yeah. I am waking up now. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they will say to you, I am now coming off the bed. Yes. And I am now going to brush my teeth. Yes. And I am now yes. going to have my breakfast. My breakfast. And they will tell you what they are having for breakfast. And they will tell you how they feel about what they are having for breakfast. And they will post a picture of it. And they will post a picture yes. of it. And then they will tell you when they go in to have a bath. And they will tell you when they leave in the house. And when they come back, they will... Well, even before they come back, they would make sure that they connect with the yeah. audience. So even though nobody seems to be responding yet for all, they're still sharing the information. Yeah. But why is it? And that can be very dangerous. Very, Letting very. people know when you're leaving, what you're doing, your every move. That can be very dangerous. All right, so that can be dangerous yes, too. So we have dangerous. to be mindful yes. of those things. Now, even in evangelism, <laughs> we use social media. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we used in other areas, as you mentioned tonight, mm -hmm. we are here and we are reaching out to the Facebook platform. Facebook mm -hmm. platform. Mm -hmm. So those persons that are there, we are hoping that we can connect with them. They can share with us and we use it positively. Mm -hmm. We use it to advance a cause that is so important. There are times when we cannot do it fast enough mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. meeting persons but if we go on the social media platform you may have a thousand friends how much friends you have on facebook when you're asking me days like me <laughs> yes but well, i can't tell you i mean i will go on facebook maybe once a week or if okay. i go maybe just to scroll through to look at the news or something but in terms of posting i don't post or uh, so i don't Okay, so yeah. Sister Sarana, how much friends do you have on Facebook? I, I know young people now, they say they have friends and they have acquaintances, so I don't know which term you're utilizing, but how much contacts do Con you have? Contacts is a better word. <laughs> yeah. On Facebook. Well, I, I can't remember the amount, but it's in the hundreds, though. It's in the hundreds? Yeah, it doesn't reach a thousand yet. It hasn't reached thousands no, yet. No, I think you, I want it to reach a thousand, but it's in the hundreds. I can't remember the amount, but okay. yes. So the question is, do you get time to actually connect with those hundreds? Or is it that you send one post and those hundreds get to view your post and, and maybe even share a comment? Well, I hardly post things on Facebook because uh, since I realized some, well, they, well, I come to know that Facebook, um, the site mm -hmm. is really dangerous. So I keep away from that for how much months now. So I hardly post anything. I don't really contact any you know like post any things i don't really have conversation on facebook as how i used to before now i as i grow i hear information about facebook how dangerous it is so i keep far you know okay. i don't have much contact with facebook as how i used to before all right and of course you know there are some persons mm -hmm. they, they go there mm -hmm. but they do not use their real name yeah, they, use they do not use name. their real mm -hmm. picture yeah. they don't tell you their real age yes. and so they put on should we say a garb. Yeah, like yeah. They put on a mask. Mm -hmm, they mask yeah. So they appear to be somebody, mm -hmm. yes. but they're really not yes. that person. And, and at times, persons can be carried away. Yes, mm -hmm. and you have to be careful with that. All oh, right, and so we have to be yes. careful with that. Very careful. So, Mrs. Henry, tell us how much, how much friends do you have? <laughs> Contacts you have? I probably have about two something and maybe two something requests unanswered. All right. When you say two something, <laughs> what do you mean by two something? I, know, I can't remember. Maybe thousands or hundreds. <laughs> no, 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 no hundreds. <laughs> all right, all right, yeah. all right. So you're looking at the two hundred. Yeah. All right. Okay. But um, I'm still not a uh, really a Facebook person. Mm -hmm. I do go on, um, maybe even less than once a week sometimes. Mm -hmm. I do post probably news or probably something the conference you know promotes or so. Um, those sort of things. I'm not there to 
read your status mm-hmm. and mind your yeah. business and scroll through all your uh-huh. pictures <laughs> right if if it pops up mm-hmm. yes you know or they might remind you that it's someone's birthday Body. today mm-hmm. or something like that mm-hmm. but not addictive <coughs> or you know that driven okay yes so we are saying that you are there and it mm-hmm. gives opportunity positives it yeah. gives you the opportunity to connect and mm-hmm. to share with a vast audience short right. space of time but have you also noticed that what we are experiencing now in the studio is not necessarily what our viewing audience is experiencing because right now we can look at each other mm-hmm. yeah. we can see facial expressions yes. we can connect in a real way but then we have those on the other side of the glass, right. other side of the screen. <laughs> and uh, we spend so much time on those platforms that we do not get much time with personal interaction. So you know what somebody looks like in a picture. Mm-hmm. Yes. But if you see them in person, you would pass them straight. You, don't them. <laughs> you would pass them straight. Yes. Because you spend all your time seeing what they look like there, mm-hmm. but not what or who they really are. So sometimes you would look at Brother Millet, and there he may look like a short person. But when you see him in real life, then you realize he's a tall man. Or the opposite could also be true. You look at some persons and you think, well, Oh yeah, mm-hmm. he is tall, he is dark, well you ladies say it so dark and handsome. <laughs> oh boy. And when you see him in real life you say, oh. Oh no. <laughs> but you know even as you're on this, eh, when you look at it, mm-hmm. if you go back to our time, friends who you had from school, even if you haven't seen them in years, you connect right away mm-hmm. and it brings back all those memories. Mm-hmm. And all our friends from school are lifelong friends, even if they travel 10 years, 20 years, when you meet them, the relationship comes right back there. But look at this generation now. Friendship don't last any time. Okay. Because the friendship is built on those platforms. Yes. So when I ask you how things and you say, well, 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 I'm okay. Mm-hmm. And I watch your face. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. What's going on? I'm okay. No, no, mm-hmm. tell me. Okay, well, you know, XYZ. But online and I message, you know, how things and I might be in tears, you might be depressed. And you say I'm fine, okay, I move on. Well, he says he's fine and it's okay, yeah, and we're yeah, good to go. Mm-hmm. So the the quality of friendship, the quality of relationship that we would have had. Mm-hmm. So even now, when, when we lose power, as we're looking at a scenario, if we don't have internet for a while, we tend to develop better relationship. So we may be disconnected from our 200 plus friends or 400 friends online, right. but a few among us, we get to know more of our neighbors, more of those right around us. Yeah. Imagine two days without power, the amount of things you're going to know mm-hmm. about people mm-hmm. right here. But I was here all the time and yeah. I never knew this. <laughs> okay. mm-hmm. So the disconnect part of it, the disconnecting here, it's a good maybe we should have someone magically disconnecting us sometime maybe once a month they give you two days off or something mm-hmm. to help you get back in track and develop that quality of relationship who knows all right now you know we have a lot of contacts on those platforms mm-hmm. but a lot of persons are still lonely sure. how is that possible you have 200 friends yeah and yet for all you are lonely mm-hmm. How is it possible? How can that be possible? How can I have 200 friends? Could you imagine 200 friends? That is bigger than a gang. Yeah. That is a multitude. That's a school. The whole school. <laughs> 200 persons walking behind you, walking around you, looking at you, yes. looking at all what you're doing and saying, and yet for all you're lonely. How is that possible? The thing is, sometimes we have friends and they're very friends that we have on probably Facebook mm-hmm. are the people that we just pass and say good morning to or sometimes friends on Facebook they don't even talk to each oh, other in real life we we'll say contacts contacts yeah, yeah, no, the, say contact. thing, the thing is a friend <laughs> that's why they, that's how they call it that's your friend all right they send a friend request they want to be friends mm-hmm. with you mm-hmm. right so that's your friend and you have two something friends and you would pass on the street and you don't even say hello. Okay. Right? So it, to me, it's like kind of like a make-believe world. Okay. You can go there. You can pretend to be anybody. You can talk to anybody. 
And then after that, that's it. We can just go back to you being lonely and passing on the street and not saying good morning. It doesn't always paint the true picture of what is going on in a person's life. So. Okay. Yeah. And of course, it is almost like saying having an avatar. So in well, other words, mm -hmm. right. You show something right, that, it be anything. or you you showcase what you want to be. Mm -hmm. right. So how you want to feel, mm -hmm. but that is not necessarily how you mm -hmm. feel. So today you are telling everybody, I feel happy, I feel glad, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. But deep within, you are burning up. But I also know some persons that put up their sad feelings, mm -hmm. they get yes, a lot yes. of blows mm -hmm. for it too. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if that's the reason why some persons are shying away from yes. really letting others know how they truly feel because that platform there, yeah. when you send it out, it is almost impossible to get back the comment. And when persons start commenting mm -hmm. on what you would have posted, it could be good, it could be bad, it could uplift you, it could embarrass you. Mm -hmm. And once it goes, then you are in trouble. Could you imagine in school, classmates, everybody linked up to the same social media and something embarrassing yeah. is said about you and you mm -hmm. go to school mm -hmm. and by now you can't say nobody knows mm -hmm. because you know yeah. all your friends, they are there. Yeah. So when something goes there, yeah. then you know that everybody knows and you know that you will be the laugh of the class. And it's not just know and forget, eh? it mm -hmm. stays on those things right yes, through. Good! <laughs> so it's not just about knowing and forgetting. And even though they may say, well, take it down. Somebody would have already yeah. downloaded yeah. it yeah. and they have it in their own archive yeah. Yeah. so that if it's gone, they can still show it. Yeah. And 20 years from now, they could still use it against you. Mm -hmm. So that in itself shows dangers or the dangers that can come about with those platforms. Yeah, because now that you're reaching, I mean, you're, you're extending it here and that's one of the dangers and a lot of young persons mm -hmm. get involved in those platforms and they do things mm -hmm. without knowing the, the, the risk behind it. Mm -hmm. And as I say sometimes, even sometimes, last week I was, I was speaking to someone, mm -hmm. most persons would never get a chance to be a politician or to be some state figure mm -hmm. because so much things we post today, we think people may forget. Look what happens in the U.S. Somebody decides to run in a political arena. They just bring something up from 20 years ago, some video or some scandal or something. Mm -hmm. So we're exposing our young people now. And later on in life, when you want to be a public figure, those things start surfacing. So persons can blackmail you easy. You want to get a job, you have a lot of problems. So we really have to be mindful of the dangers of those. As mm -hmm. much as there are so many good, we can use them for really good things mm -hmm. but we have to be careful the parameters on through which we use those platforms all right and also i've even heard that some employers yeah they they That's at right. times scroll through yeah. to see who so you are so yeah, something like even okay. before you go to them right. to acquire yeah. a job they would yeah, the they agencies that, that, yes. that, that, that do that who you are not yeah, just yeah. that there are some persons who say that they are sick and when you go on their Facebook page, you're saying, well, I'm going to the beach today, and they, they show a picture, but they're sending a sick leave, saying that they are in bed, and they can't move, and they're weak. therapy. All right. So we have to be so careful, so mindful. And a lot of persons talking about detoxing. Detoxing. Yep. But I know when you're going back to school, Take a wash out. You take a wash out. <laughs> so it means that all those bad things yes. that you would have eaten yeah. over the holidays, then you get rid of it. Yeah, so right. how does that fit into the social media platform? Because we, we spoke about some good things and we also noticed that there are some drawbacks yeah. Yeah. to the same platform. So whereas it causes us to connect and to share and it causes us to be abreast with information, in that context, mm -hmm. we also have the drawback when it comes to our privacy, persons that are there, they're not really who they are, who they say they are, yeah. even employers can use it to get personal information and so on and so forth. So there are some <coughs> drawbacks to it. So uh, when it comes to detoxing, how does that fit into our discussion this evening? You know, the, the thing about it, all of us, Whatever it is, we know there are some things we need to take a break from it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Knowing 
is a good thing. Mm -hmm. But actually making the effort to start to do it, mm -hmm. it's another thing. Okay. So we're talking about detox really means taking a break from those things because mm -hmm. most people will tell you, I have control. Mm -hmm. So I could do this, I could, I could use my phone if I want to. Mm -hmm. I can do that here. And on the other hand, our devices control us. Mm -hmm. Because when we put it down and as you hear a little beep, yeah. it says, check me. Mm -hmm. You have to go check mm -hmm. it. You're there and you're sitting here and it says, I want some charge now. Mm -hmm. Plug me in. <laughs> you get a low battery signal, beeps, you have to get up That's and go on. And we are slave to those devices, yeah. but we think consciously we are in charge. Mm -hmm. But it's really the other way around. Okay. So when we talk about detox, we're actually talking about taking a break. I can give that up, I can do that. Knowing we have to do it is good. Mm -hmm. As I said, making mm -hmm. this start might be difficult. Mm -hmm. So there are ways we can do it. So let's say four of us here, we decide here's what? We really need to take a break. Okay. Can we help each other to take a break? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you to remind me that I need to take a break from 7 to 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So you will call me at 5 to 7. You know we're taking a break from 7 to 8 o'clock. I'm okay. going to get back to you. Mm -hmm. So we have little tabs we can do that. Again, well, I'm into, into the IT field. So there are things we can do. Let's suppose you have an issue and uh, you want to detox. You want to take a break certain times and you mm -hmm. don't have that control. Mm -hmm. I can configure your router in a way that blocks you from having access at that particular time. Mm -hmm. So it forces you. Sometimes some of us, we need yeah. to be compelled to do things. Okay. So the detox may not be voluntary detox, mm -hmm. but sometimes it has to be a forced detox. Mm -hmm. And then when it goes on for a while and we realize how good we feel sometimes, then it can grow in, in a voluntary way and we can have some control. Okay. But it's a good thing to take a break sometimes and we can see what happens. Mm -hmm. You have no power. You have no device, you can save a little. Some persons stay hungry to top up. So have taking, mercy. Yeah, yeah. So taking a detox can have can can add money in your pocket. That's All right. right. It gives you more time. You can you're outside, you can see things to do. You get exercise, so you, you can lower your blood sugar by taking a detox on this. Instead of sitting in the room all day, you get outside, you it saves you on the bill, it saves you on the health bill, it saves you on everything. Mm -hmm. Lots of things can happen. So the detox is really taking a break from it, voluntarily or involuntarily. Mm -hmm. So yeah. listen, I'm going to use another word again, mm -hmm. or another phrase that we began our discussion with, and that is going off the grid, off the grid. Mm -hmm. So when we say go off the grid, we, we spoke about detox. Mm -hmm. Now it runs in the same vein, going off the grid. Even our good friend Jesus, he went off the greed and so what does it mean for us also to go off the greed he, he spoke about detoxing he spoke about it and i'm asking you but say go off the greed you take a break you take a break yes you you relax you free up yourself you know you take a little free up and <sighs> and nature is a great way okay of um taking a detox you know you go you spend time with family i think some of our viewers would have made mention of it mm -hmm. um you get to spend time with family you get to probably work on your favorite hobby develop a skill mm -hmm. there is so much that one can do you know by just staying off the the social media platform for a while mm -hmm. and um brother paul would have said maybe from seven to eight and for for some person that is just like a lifetime mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, whereas myself, I can go uh, a day, two days, but I know when I pick it back up, the messages are flooding. <laughs> All right. So, you know, to me, sometimes you have to find balance, mm -hmm. right? Um, find temperance, Te um, practice temperance in what you're doing. Too much of one thing mm -hmm. is never good for you, no matter how good we think it may be. So wow. I would say practice temperance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of those ways, you know, you like he said, you get you get a body, mm -hmm. you remind yourself, and so probably you could mute some chats, mm -hmm. yeah, for a day, a week, whatever the options may be, mm -hmm. and so on. You know, stay okay. off the grid, stay unlocated. Mm -hmm. But uh, I saw a comment there, and oh. and, and, and it's a really a, an interesting comment. Oh. Okay. I mean, we're talking because let's say we're from the old school. We were there before internet. All right, so Bex, go ahead. Yes, but how about those who are born into this thing? Mm -hmm. I mean, what are we telling them? For one, if you come out on the street today as, as boys with a ruler or something, nobody knows now what a ruler is okay. anyways. Okay. 
So what are we uh, what are we doing for this generation who are born into this? Mm -hmm. We tell them to, to take a detox, take a detox and do what? Mm -hmm. So we put blame on this generation, we put blame on them because they don't do that and that's all they're doing. But we, what they're doing is what we would have taught them to do. Okay. How many of us take the time to show them, okay, as boys, I'm speaking male because mm -hmm. I'm male, all right, all right. to make a top. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we had joy in, in, in spinning top. Okay. And I'm sure if you pass up and see somebody at <laughs> the top, they will want to take a spin on the top. <laughs> So those there's are the things there. You know, there's an art. <laughs> yeah, but this generation now, they don't have it. And okay. they don't have it because we haven't taught it to them. Okay. And all we do, and you see parents suck with one year old, as a matter of fact, children sucking on little things. I mean, I, I'm talking about two year old, three, mm -hmm. well, well, two months, three months old, mm -hmm. and we give them a little device. As soon as they could move their finger, we give them those things. So they grow up with this. Okay. What is the alternative for them? All right, so hold that. Hold that. Ruth is saying, given the age we are in, our entire life surrounds technology. We can function to our optimum without it. That's a fact. However, as the brother says, we will adjust because we are adaptable, adaptable beings. beings. Wonderful. And what about Roberts? He says, this is what's dangerous about hospitals and doctors' offices that only hmm. have wow. electronic medical records once the computer crashes they can treat well that sounds dangerous could you imagine sitting there and you're just waiting mm. all right jd i see that you're just <laughs> waiting and then they tell you i'm sorry yeah we have no records we have no records so, so we you don't know what to do and now you have to go mm -hmm. over and do all your tests yeah. because they cannot seem to find your records could you imagine all those thousands of dollars you would have spent now yeah. gone and Noll is saying people interact more on Instagram now than, oh, than Facebook, rather than Facebook. So okay. mm, it seems as though the attention mm -hmm. yeah. seems to be shifting, but yeah. it's still around the social media yeah. platform. But I, just, right. I just want to train a little dimension here. Mm -hmm. And as we talk about now, it's moving more to Instagram and Facebook. Mm -hmm. And looking at this generation who are born into this technology mm -hmm. now, and the impact it's having on them educationally mm -hmm. at school we have so many things so i'm on facebook here and i get bored on facebook i jump to instagram after i get bored on instagram i always have a platform to be shifting to mm -hmm. but when these students are in school in the mm -hmm. classroom they cannot function mm -hmm. because as soon as something is boring them there is no alternative in the classroom mm -hmm. what do they do okay. they disrupt the classroom okay. they can't learn they can't focus right. because they're used to all their life being able I'm in control, so I'm not happy with this. I move there. So you're you're on, you're playing a video game, and you you don't like how it goes. So you're losing. You can start it over because you're always in control. Okay. But when you're in a setting like in the school where you are not in control, you cannot function. So it doesn't teach you problem solving. Exactly. Because you're and always you have behavioral in problems. Okay. Because you are always in control. Okay. Even if you come to a church pastor, and it's your turn. Okay, you come to my church, I'm an elder, you're a pastor, I know it is protocol, I give you the pulpit, you're just visiting. What if when you come to your church, I just come visit and say, you know what, today pastor sit down, I'm taking up there. Uh, you feel I'm invading your space because you're no longer in control. Another elder to elder, because we are on that sort of a level, we may tend to give, give and take. But when you grow all your life, you are in control, I'm driving a game, and I'm losing, I could restart, I could re reverse and go forward okay. and then you translate that to this generation now so it's us older ones we have to work with the younger ones okay. to teach them the proper use mm -hmm. but it's dangerous exposing young children <coughs> to the technology and those things and okay. that's right. what it is here nova no like korean was saying that we use the, <coughs> the social media platforms for three reasons if i remember mm -hmm. correctly he spoke about connecting he spoke about entertainment and he also spoke being about informed being educated. informed so there are three major reasons we can look at it that way so it's for education entertainment and to stay connected he also says something lower down korean says something lower down all right he's saying here facebook is aging up while instagram is used mainly by millennials but it's still the largest platform and facebook owns Instagram. <laughs> now John Max, I don't even want to go there. John Max is saying, 
I'm a young person and to me social media is not fun or interesting anymore as before. I am glad that our viewing audience, they are sharing with us. We're glad to hear what you are saying. Post your comments. We want to read them. We want others to hear so that we can all learn from the experience this evening. All right. We have, all right. Korean again is saying, yep, employers, check your social regular before hiring you. That's the world we live in now. And Ma. Shima Hamlet is saying the term is mainly used in electric electricity. electricity. All right, so so break down the one for us, Hamlet. <laughs> All right, not is saying so true. Um, we are to blame as parents because it's just easier to put a what a tablet in a toddler's hands to give us a break instead of teaching them other activities. So the alternatives, that's true, you know. To give us a break to do what? So that we could be on the social media. Yeah. <laughs> so in a house, everybody is on their thing here. Yeah. And that's what it is. Okay. So you're looking for a break to... Well, I mean, I'm telling you that's what happens. Yeah, in, so you're in, looking in for a break to, to do what? It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. So what you're drawing them from is what you are drawn to. Mm -hmm. And not just the tablet but it's easy to turn on the television yeah. mm -hmm. and let them watch it too yeah or put up some show and let them watch it and Start that entertains TV. them mm -hmm. and we get a chance to yeah. do what we want to do yeah. but an important thing i want to throw in here i'm not sure how much time we're going to have but i think it's, it's, it's really important when you look at addiction all addiction is the same mm -hmm. you're addicted to alcohol to drugs or whatever Whatever you're addicted to, the addiction is the same. It happens in the brain and how the brain secrets substances to make you feel that way. Mm. And the danger of using these devices, the frequency at which they transmit on, mm -hmm. many of them 2.4 gigahertz frequency. And I want to bring in that here. Tell us. <laughs> because when you read the manual for all those things, okay. those things aren't designed for children. They are in there. Obviously. And the, the, the stimulation that is provided by that mm -hmm. 2.4 gigahertz frequency, all of these wireless things, our Wi-Fi routers, our cordless phones mm -hmm. and so, they stimulate us and we become addicted to the stimulation that we get. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's why sometimes you may have, you may leave your house to go outside and you forget something. Maybe you, you don't remember. But as soon as you forget your phone, you almost remember you, you forget your phone because the stimulation that you get is no longer there when you're not close to the devices. So even if there is no credit on it or whatever, you feel okay because that frequency that's on you stimulates you and makes you feel good. And thinking what happens, you know, sometimes we read stories where parents take away the device from children mm -hmm. and the behavior that they depict, we say, oh, they're rude or whatever. But really and truly, they cannot control it. It's the same thing somebody who is on withdrawal from, let's say, alcohol abuse. Mm -hmm. You take away the alcohol instantly, they go through that same withdrawal. It's the same thing that happened with the electronic devices. Because of the stimulation and the addiction we're so used to having that frequency on us, we produce those kinds of substances that make us feel good. When we withdraw them immediately, you go into that same withdrawal effect. Mm -hmm. So starting these young children on these devices okay. and just removing it away from them instantly, we could kill them. Okay. And that's why they revolt and they behave in that fashion. Okay. So those devices really aren't for them. And even if we have children and we have apps, that's why some of the devices, most of the devices, they have airplane modes. We turn off the transmitter, turn it in airplane mode before you hand it to your little children if you want them to play those things. And for kids, if you get offline games, so it doesn't transmit when you have those things. It's a whole different realm we get into. But the science behind the technology, and that's why we have so much person, they are addicted with their little children, they can pick it up. I mean, we're not getting into that here, but mm -hmm. when you understand, that's what it is. So for children, put it in a plain mode, they can use it, but we have to control because we have to understand we develop that feeling here. When they get in school, they're restless because they don't have those devices that stimulate them. And that's what happens. Okay. They withdraw, they go through, they throw the tantrums and they behave in that fashion. They're innocent. We are the guilty ones because we grew them up with it. Okay. So it's almost like a feel-good stimulation. That's what it is. You get so much attention if we can do at you, hours you just on the just on the technology and the effect it has on the brain, brain development, frontal lobe development. That's a whole different thing. I get. 
Okay, yeah. excellent man. You can change the channel, change your platform when you want. You can shut off yeah. who you want. You are in total control. Yeah. And so there is a great psychology. The psychology behind it. Behind it. And we, of course, we can see it, but it's there. And if we're not reading, then yeah. we will know. And if you understand the game developers, how they do, how they collect data from us. And that's what it is. So we're all on this platform and really they're gathering information Aye, from nice. us to feed it back to us. So they know what our appetite is. Okay. So you may just throw some event on the news mm -hmm. and you collect people's comments mm -hmm. here. So we can... I'm getting into conspiracy. Right. That's how they call it anyway. Okay. So okay. Let's, let's stick to where we are. All right. But really when it comes to the development, these devices, we really should have control on it when it comes to our children and the way that they use those platforms. All right. Michelle, Michelle Roberts here. Yeah. Withdrawal that explains it. I'm seeing it at home. So you see, it's already making headway. It's creating an impact. Airplane mode. Thanks for the advice. So okay. some hospital is saying something here. Last week, right. a nine-year-old committed suicide because her mother took away her cell phone in New York. Wow. And we may say just a cell phone take away. No, it's not take away cell phone. Mm -hmm. Is the which is is the effect of removing the stimulation from the frequency that okay. those things transmit at. So there is the stimulation, there is the addiction, and there is also the withdrawal, like a mm -hmm. drug. Mm -hmm. So it plays with the mind, it interferes with the brain, mm -hmm. stimulates the brain. And when you take that away, you are seeing it creates a challenge. Definitely. Oh, marvelous, man. Marvelous. So you have to be wind mm -hmm. off the device. Mm -hmm. So I'm used to it five hours for the day. Let's walk four and a half for a period. Let's bring it down to four. Let's bring it down to three. Let's mm -hmm. bring it down. And that's what it is. So if you have children who have been using this device all the time, you don't just take it away from them. You're doing mm -hmm. more harm than good. You have to phase it out. That's what it is. All right. Wonderful, man. I like that. All right. Hamlet is saying, I'm speaking about off the grid and michelle roberts i believe you 100 percent all right anybody else we're speaking about off the grid we're speaking about social media those platforms the good do we looking at the the challenges that we can face we are looking at alternatives that we can utilize and we got some tremendous insight from mr paul that he has shared with us and I'm sure that persons based on the comments they are already benefiting from what is being shared here this evening but of course before we continue let us pause and take a special song when we return we'll go back to Steps out 
being shared some of which I am getting to know for the first time and so I am learning I know that you are learning many persons have signed on many persons have liked the page share the page they are calling persons and saying my friend is on and I want you to see them I want you to hear what they are saying and so we are encouraging you for the next few minutes to still like the page still share the page still tell somebody and let us have an explosive time with jesus this evening we are speaking about off the grid and uh, before we went off we were looking at withdrawal we were looking at addiction and uh, what the social media platforms what it does to us as human beings and persons have commenting and uh, of course we have here Ruth saying just this week the news highlighted the danger of a Momo oh, yes, a all right challenge, challenge game, game yes. all right so it seems as though persons are using those platforms for good and also for other reasons mm -hmm. and so we must be very careful when we go there because as was mentioned it can be positive yeah and also there are drawbacks mm -hmm. that we can experience when we go there. While we were listening to the special song, I want to let you know that Brother Millet was speaking, mm -hmm. and I told him what he is saying offline, he <laughs> needs to say online, yes. because if he says it online, then it creates a greater impact, and also the audience would be greater and uh, based on what he said before, somebody would have said, then they realize why the child is behaving the way he or she is behaving. And that is because of the withdrawal. They're just taking away. And as you mentioned, it's just an addiction. And so tell the audience, share with the audience what you shared with us while we were offline. So briefly, in, in interest of time, we were looking at, we were just sharing that 
the frequency, the operating frequency of these mobile devices and, and, and wireless devices in general, because of the 2.4 to 5 gigahertz frequency, they have a direct impact on the development of the brain. Uh, we have hormones secreted by the pineal gland, we have melatonin, we have serotonin, and these hormones that regulate sleep. So that's why we have persons, when they're on those devices, they can go right through the night. Mm -hmm. Your children can stay up 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning on those devices because it, pre it, it prevents the production of those hormones that is going to control your sleep cycle. Earlier on, you said that persons have so many friends and yet they're still depressed. Mm -hmm. So the hormones that would keep you glad and happy, like when you laugh, the Bible says laughter is a medicine for the soul. Mm -hmm. When you laugh and you produce so much of these hormones, these glad hormones as we call them sometimes, All right. these devices inhibit the production of those hormones. So the more time persons spend on those devices, the lower the production of those hormones, serotonin, melatonin. So persons are more depressed even after prolonged use of those devices because the body cannot secrete those. But even as Christians, we have to understand that the development of the frontal lobe, the frontal lobe is the part of the brain that deals with reasoning okay. and understanding consequences of action. Research has shown that this frequency has a direct correlation to the development of the frontal lobe. So it stunts the development. So many of our young persons and even the older ones, well, the older ones will make, get away a little because the skull is a little bit more solid. It cannot penetrate as easily as with right. the younger ones. Right. But there were children mm -hmm. with the impeded development of the frontal lobe. They would never understand the consequence of actions. Okay. And that's how we see scandal. Today, you may see some child, some school child has some pornography on, you know, something. They say, this thing has just been released and we found that. And you laugh at that person and next week is your turn yours get released okay. and you're not thinking it's going to happen to you because understanding the consequences we can't because of the underdevelopment of the frontal lobe and these devices operate at that frequency other frequencies could have been chosen but they are allowed on that frequency and who knows the reason why maybe it's to cause the same effect that is being caused now so really and truly these devices aren't for children so we get them on the social platform it's a better option you get them on the computer and even at home you have your computer everybody wants wireless it's easier it's safer to have them plugged in wires okay so get on facebook on your computer as opposed to on the mobile phone mm -hmm. and all the social platforms they can be operated on the computer okay. but we prefer on the mobile because the mobile is even more powerful than the computer now mm -hmm. why god but, knows but how does the stimulation and and temptation how how does it come into play stimulation and temptation yeah the thing about it with the temptation and that's what's dangerous about it i mean you can look at somebody for a minute and analyze them know what they like or know what they don't like and all the apps we play around with it sends data to the developers okay so you might be there using your device and something pops up something that you like pops up it distracts you and it leads you from here to there mm -hmm. why because they're collecting data from you your usage statistic mm -hmm. even if your phone is off the microphone is on okay. your conversation can be listened to okay. software does all that so they can feed you and persons know well software knows what you like so what i can give you so that's where the temptation comes in mm -hmm. so you're trying to get off this but the very thing you're trying to get off is being fed to you and we have to guard the avenues to our mind as the Bible warns us about this. Okay. So as Christians, we really have to have controlled use. But I believe the best way to work with it is mm -hmm. taking a detox, taking a break from groups. Mm -hmm. Let us put our phones down for the weekend. Mm -hmm. Let us meet together and have a discussion. All the things we say when we type, let us meet and let us say it face to face. Okay. We need to get off the grid. Okay. We need to disconnect and reconnect, not on the social media, but face to face. Let us feel each other. And, and for enough, the Bible says, be not conformed to this world, mm -hmm. but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It also says, do not forsake the assembling All right. together. Good. So we need to come together. Exactly. So we are, we are looking at the fact that the social media platforms and the technology being utilized captivates mm -hmm. the mind and it is almost as though persons are losing control so yeah. self-control is being taken away from from persons by that platform and so we have to be so careful so careful yeah because the platform itself mm -hmm. is not bad okay. but the technology underlying okay so i'm giving you this but i have this hidden under all right mm -hmm. and that's what's dangerous okay. so we can use it and we use it is good i encourage to to use it but 
beneath it, I can send you other things because I have ulterior motive. Okay. And that's what's dangerous about it. Interesting perspective and outlook on it. <coughs> of course, Mrs. Henry, I'm sure you have something on the spiritual side of life that you can encourage us with. Yes. Um, reading from Matthew chapter 15, verse 29. I'm just going to read that for you. It says, And Jesus departed from thence, and came nigh unto the Sea of Galilee, and went up into a mountain and sat down there. So we know that Jesus, uh, he always went about preaching and teaching and there were thousands of, he had thousands of followers. All right, okay, okay. <laughs> right, and he, he was connected, right? He connected the people and so. But then he took time off from the crowd, from mm -hmm. the thousands of friends, and he went in a quiet place and prayed to God. Okay. Not just pray, but commune and you know, enjoy nature and all that. So even Jesus went off the grid, can okay. you imagine? Mm -hmm. So it's an example for us. All right. What about Sarah? <laughs> what do you have for us this evening? All right. Well, some of you might be saying, um, what can I do to get off the grid, right? And I'm going to list a few suggestions that you can do at home. And um, the first one, you can um, put reminders around your room and office. So. If you want to get off the grid, just have little notes around the house. And you know, if you walk in the kitchen and say, okay, I need to get off my phone, you see that note there? Mm -hmm. You can try that as well too. Put um, your device on airplane mode, as Brother Paul said. Deleting some social media apps on your phone as well. You can do that just to get away from the, the apps that you really want to um, rest from. Mm -hmm. And keeping your phone out of your bedroom. You know, normally when you when you're, in, you're going to sleep, you want your phone, you want to check and see who messaging you, and you want to see who is the person that um, you don't know, you just want to get in contact with, you know, with mm -hmm. everybody before you go to sleep. Okay. So you can keep the phone off your bed, and also setting your phone by turning off all the notification, mm -hmm. right? That will also help. Mm -hmm. And the most important one is commit your plans to God. True. And I could say you pray to God about that problem, right? Mm -hmm. So if you want to get off the grid, you pray to God. So all the, the suggestions I listed, you pray to God and tell God to help you so that you can get off the grid, give the, the, the phone a rest, and just relax yourself. All right. Yes. And of course, we are coming down to the end. We are almost at the end of our program this evening. I have enjoyed the time that I spent with Likewise. you all. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it, really appreciate it. And all the comments that we got from our social media platform. Mm -hmm. We <laughs> so appreciative of your presence, your liking, your sharing. And don't forget next week, we'll be here same time, same place. But before we close off, of course, we asking you to send in your prayer requests. We are going to pray for you. We are going to talk to God for you. So we'll have our prayer, we'll have our song, we would close up and we would go home and we would rest and wake up tomorrow, please God, by God's grace, continuing to be blessed by his presence and by his grace. And do you also know that as we come down to the close of time, we can all admit that the way in which the world is going, the fast pace is almost as though we can say the world is about to crash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that itself can be a term that can be utilized within the technological and the social media platforms. Crashing. Mm -hmm. And so we have to be so careful that we're not lured into temptations. And the persons are also using the technology and the, the social media not merely to connect with us so that it can be beneficial, mm -hmm. but so that they can gain information, so that they can know who we are and they can continue mm -hmm. to drag us deeper and deeper and deeper into wrongdoing and sometimes into what persons may call evil deeds. So as we go and come to the close of time, we, we have to seek to shun and as you all mm -hmm. said, go off the grid, mm -hmm. detox, mm -hmm. see how you can have that form of self-control so that when that time comes, you would not find yourself wanting, but in full control. And that Jesus that we have been speaking about so long, singing about so much, we would not have to run from him when we see him face to face. 
but we'll be able to embrace him and tell him how much we appreciate what he did for us. Okay, just a final comment from me here. Just a quick quote I want to read here. And it comes from Testimonies to the Church, volume 8, page 52. It says, A bewitching influence seemed to be passing as a wave over our people there. Mm -hmm. And I saw that this would be followed by other temptations. Satan works with intensity of purpose to induce our people to invest their time and money in gratifying supposed wants. Mm -hmm. This is a species of idolatry. The example will be followed, and while hundreds are starving for bread, while farming and pestilence are seen and felt, because God cannot, according to his own name's glory, protect those who are walking contrary to his will, shall those who profess to love and serve God act as did the people in the days of Noah, following the imagination of their hearts? When Satan is defeated in one line, he would be all ready with the other schemes and plans which will appear attractive and needful mm -hmm. and which will absorb money and thought and encourage selfishness so that he can overcome those who are so easily led into a false and selfish indulgence. All right, powerful. All right, so tonight as we come to our moment of prayer, we have persons that are saying, I am asking you to pray for a good job, pray for the children that left the church that they would come back somebody's asking that we pray that that friend get a kidney donor those are serious requests mm -hmm. and especially the times in which we live so important and i'm sure there are other persons with other requests for prayer and so tonight we are going to lift them up before jesus christ uh, so what we are going to do now we are going to have that prayer and we are going to give God thanks and praise for his power that is more than capable to shatter more than able. Yes, man. The doubts and to give us confidence. Mm -hmm. All right. So tonight, of course, I'm going to ask one of the females to pray. And I'm also going to ask Brother Miller to pray, seeing that I began <laughs> with prayer. All right, so let's bow our heads. Viewing audience, we ask you to bow your heads because tonight we are lifting your requests to Jesus Christ. What is troubling you? Let Jesus know tonight. Almighty God and Father, we are so thankful for tonight's message that you brought to us. It wasn't by chance, dear God, and we just want to thank you for it. We lift up the prayer requests that was mentioned, dear God. I may not remember all, but you know. We pray, dear God, for that person who is pleading on their friend's behalf to get a kidney donor. Yes. We pray, dear God, that if it's your will, you would provide that person with a kidney so that they can have a full functioning body and be well. We pray also, dear God, for that mother who is requesting prayer for her, her two children that would have left the church, dear God. You know how sorrowful that could be, and we just pray, dear God, that you would comfort her. And whoever those children are, dear God, may you speak to their hearts even at this moment and help them, dear God, to return to their first love and to come back, dear God, into the fall of safety. We pray in a special way, thanking you once more for the evening's program. And while it may not have been mentioned, someone that was looking at the program tonight or persons looking at the program may have that addictive ness to the social media platforms, dear God, and we just lift them up before you probably some of us in more ways than one and we just pray dear god that you will help us to take that example from you and go off the grid ever so often and be revived and refreshed dear god so that we can always our minds can be renewed dear god so that we can stay connected with you so thank you so much for all of your blessings thank you for hearing and answering our prayer in jesus name amen, amen. Father and God, we are so thankful for the opportunity of prayer. We thank you, O God, for this day you have granted unto us. Even as we have spent time as a family to discuss matters that are so necessary for us, we pray, God, asking that through this program tonight, many hearts would have been blessed. Persons would have gotten the answers to their prayers. Even with the many requests we would have had with persons praying for different things, I pray, O God, that you are going to hear our prayers and you are going to answer our prayers according to your riches in glory, O God. 
this time we also thank you for those who are home there are those who are struggling even to give up the addiction and whatever it is oh god but we know that all things are possible through you those who are praying for the children who might have been in church and who would have left those who are ill whatever the needs are lord whatever our hearts desire may you also grant it unto us lord but even for the wisdom you have given us and the inspiration and the knowledge and the willingness we have that we can share with others who might be struggling knowing that through your power they are we all can become overcomers of god this time may we also learn ways in which we can sight the enemy from a distance and so we can be able to overcome him through the working of the holy spirit of oh god may you give us that renewed power that we need so that we can have control over our life we can have control over those devices and not them having control over us but we also would not keep the information for ourselves but we are going to share it with others out there may we also take responsibility knowing that you have entrusted children in our care you have entrusted others and we are responsible oh god so may we through your inspiration do the things that are going to make for a better family and we're also going to see the need and the importance of communing with you breaking away sometimes and going in a solitude place as you did so we can find strength we can reflect we can be rejuvenated and so we can carry out your mission and we can go tell the world letting them know of your soon coming and we ought to get ready and anything that is going to impede us from doing this oh god May we have that strong will so that we can get it out of our life and be ready to meet you when you come. May you continue to bless us and even when we assemble tomorrow so we can pray with each other, we can fellowship with each other and also commune with you. May we have a wonderful day and even others who would have just tuned in and just listened for a while, find a church that's near to them tomorrow and go worship you so that you can inspire them, oh God, and you can change their lives. And at the end of it all, we all can see it's a good thing serving you, knowing the benefits we're going to reap. So bless us all, I pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We give God thanks and praise for such a wonderful program this evening. And our viewing audience, we thank you for sharing with us, for being with us through those moments. And remember, next week, please God, same time, same place, we'll be right here. Youth Live Unplugged would be explosive, dynamic. Do not miss it share it with a friend and let them know that something great will happen to them so tune in next week please god youth live on blog god bless you and thank you to our panelists thank you for the information and may we all have a lovely time have a good Jesus. night have a good night right. everyone and god bye bless bye.
they shine a light to a darkened world And always hear the truth in every way May your love for me be seen by everyone And lead others to trust and love you more Surrender all that I am 